Alright guys, um, today's video is just going to be kind of a tip modification video for your spinner baits and buzz baits. So I guess first we'll start out with the first tip here. Um, I know when you're fishing and you're trying to find out um, what color the fish are going for, usually how you can tell if you have the wrong color on is they'll hit your bait but um, you'll either miss them. If you're getting a lot of blow ups and you're just not um, catching your fish, even if you have a trailer hook on, um, a lot of times just changing the color from a black to a, um, like a chartreuse or a chartreuse to a white will usually make the difference. Um, so just changing the color like that or if you're just getting short strikes where they're only um, getting hooked on the trailer hook that probably means that they just don't like the color as much but so I'm just gonna give you some um, little modifications here so usually when you wanna change colors to find out what the fish are it's kinda nice to be able to have a snap usually I mean honestly when I fish um, sprinter baits and buzz baits I usually fish it on a snap a snap swivel just cause it's easier to change the color out and stuff um, I don't fish it on any other bait except for spinner baits and buzz baits, but it's just kind of nice. It doesn't really make a difference. There's already a ton of metal there anyway. It's not like the fish are going to care. Um, so, I mean, obviously you cannot use a snap on there right now, so I'm going to show you how you can make this into a circle. So what you're going to need is just some a lighter, some floral wire. I think you can get this at... Um, Home Depot or Menards, um, or you guys don't have Menards, um, I don't know, just any other, um, just go to the flower aisle and stuff, or just ask for it, floral wire, it's just like some nice wire, I guess you could use copper wire, but this stuff works like pr really, really nice, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this, start it off, usually you want to start it off like up here somewhere, just start to bend it, get it on there, and I'll show you how you can make it into a better bend later. And then just pretty much wrap it around there about three or four times till it looks good enough for you. Here, let me get that better. And just try to wrap it pretty tight, and then just give yourself some slack, cut it, and then what you're going to do is just tightly as tight as you can just try to twist that on there and then once it's too um, little to twist with your fingers you're gonna have to grab it with your pliers and twist it around and then just smash it down on there until it's laying flat same thing with this end Okay, and then what you're going to do to make it just kind of stay on there better and just kind of shrink onto the metal is you're just going to light it on there and just wait for it to start um, smoking just so it'll um, stay on there better. It just kind of helps it um, like heat together and just kind of hold its shape better than without it. There we go, it's smoking pretty good. So we can run this under the water to cool it off. There we go, so it won't burn anyone. And um, usually you can just, I think I burned it a little too much. But that way I'll show it to you on this one. That way you can just stick your snap in there easier. And um, so you can just switch out your spinner baits and stuff easier. I'll give you some um, tips for the buzz baits now. Now everyone knows the more commotion a buzz bait makes, it attracts more fish. So if you can make your buzz bait squeak as well as just chop up the water, it can really help you catch more fish. And either you can do this by just using your buzz bait for two or three years, or you can just let it sit in front of a fan for about six or seven hours until you can hear it squeaking. So what I have right here is I just have a little clipboard. Okay, so now the spinner bait is in there. And you're going to stick it to one side of the fan, either over here or over there. Turn your fan on high or um, medium, depending on how hard your fan blows. And you'll see it'll start to spin. And 
once you can hear it squeaking when it's spinning, then um, then you know it's done. So you can just leave that alone for about two or three hours. And stay tuned, guys, because I have a little segment next that I'd like for you to watch. So, yep. So here's my question for you guys. My family, sorry, my dog's like attacking me right now, but my family's actually thinking of relocating to Texas, um, Fort Worth area, Fort Worth, Dallas. Um, I mean, it looks like a great area, tons of lakes. I could fish the legendary Lake Fork, which would be awesome. Um, they actually have a Bass Pro Shops down here, unlike in Wisconsin. I mean, tons of great stuff. So what I'm asking is, is if you live in Texas, um, just please leave a comment of what you think of Texas. Um, any tips, just anything, the housing market. Just, uh, just uh, tell me if you like Texas or not. Um, if we did move down there, it would probably be right before the start of schools or the start of school. So if you told me how the schools are down there, the crime rate, stuff like that. Um, I mean, uh, I'd probably be going to a private school anyway, so public school doesn't really matter to me. But, I mean, I love Wisconsin. It's just I'm really sick of this weather. And pretty much in the winter, I just sit around for six months waiting for spring to go fishing, which is pretty much a waste of half the year. So if you do live in Texas, please leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And thanks, guys. Might turn into Texas Bassmaster, but never know. Hope I do. I don't want to live in Wisconsin anymore. But bye. Thanks, guys.